all right so it makes sense that this download i got today hello guys hi love you love you all right so real talk the ipcc report that recently was uh, put out there for all my climate activists my as you know i'm an environmental activist and today i talk about that in my in my courses today at school and uh, we're at work um one thing that i would recommend guys there's uh, in netflix there is a, um, a documentary called Breaking Boundaries. I literally just finished it today with my students. And, and basically it talks about all the, the boundaries that we need to be um, assessing and working. And I feel like this, the, the knowledge of that is key for us to build that, um, um, how do you call it? Like a sustainable lifestyle to work on these things. Uh, one thing that, that they were saying at the end that it really got my attention, they were saying like, you know, it's like a meteorite. Like, you know, when you there's a meteorite that's going to come, we all get like ready and, uh, you know, because right now what we're dealing with climate change is that we're on the tipping point. We're trying to get to the point where we are not above 1.5 degrees, okay? So basically this report, it was literally put out there not to freak you out. A lot of people are like freaking out putting all the the things like you know yes the colonization is important yes we need to give the land back yes we have to change from circ to linear to circular economy okay but the reason for this ipcc report it wasn't for the population to think oh my god doomsday and stuff like that no this is to put pressure on you know who we need to put pressure on billionaires corporation and fossil fuels they need to stop we need to be in a net zero carbon like for real why because climate change will get worse and it already is we're still seeing that the COVID 19 is also related to climate change we are still seeing that there's a rise and down and people are still getting sick even if they have the vaccine it's because of our air it's because of our water it's because what we're consuming what we're eating we're literally eating microplastics as well it's already in our food we literally found that in placenta and literally in women who are pregnant. We cannot continue to ignore this. The more we continue being ignorant about the situation, thank you, Spirit. Let's keep the high vibe around here because we need to see things from a different perspective, not be in the low vibration. Be in low vibration where we're talking about, um, you know, when you think that, oh, no, it's a... Uh, Climate change is not a, you know, it's not, it's a whole act, it's a something, or some of you that, you know, you're, you're thinking that it doesn't affect you, that whatever happens in one place, it doesn't affect you. Um, also, that low vibration thing where, you know, you think that people who are oppressed are dealing with climate change because it doesn't happen to you, you think that, that, whatever, no. Having that greedy and toxic mindset as well, that's part of that. Thinking that, oh no, that's a huge sacrifice to let go of meat. <laughs> let go of meat and stuff like that and let go of my lifestyle, of my, you know, my rich lifestyle and, and purchasing and having this my materialistic and egocentric lifestyle because, oh, it's, it's not affecting to me. So no, that is low vibration. Not educating yourself, not on learning uh, all negative uh, beliefs and limited beliefs and not learn relearning new things that's also a low vibration okay so yeah baking branded knowledge is key we need to reduce our co2 emission individually and collectively and collectively so basically each of us i really recommend you guys to watch this documentary um it's really insightful it really shows you how each of those boundaries we're being broken those boundaries and how we're able to individually and collectively work together to reduce our co2 emission because we must we must also yes i know this ipcc report is very long okay um you know it, it, it's 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 literally because everything is compiled like everything is talks about you know we're talking about the health environment we're talking about the environment of nature we're talking about biodiversity environment we're talking about climate environment we're talking about so there's different stages that we're we're going that's what these boundaries can make it like when you look at this documentary you can really see it as a whole right and you can really see it and then that way you can understand this ipcc report okay so that's what i recommend you guys there's a lot of documentaries for you guys to see there's a lot of books that i've been putting by the way guys thank you so much for those who are uh have purchased on bookshop 
I have purchased on bookshelves. You have helped a lot, a lot of libraries right now, community libraries on bookshops. I noticed that you guys are purchasing climate change uh, um, books, uh, uh, how to build equity. I see you guys are uh, getting more knowledgeable about black history. Um, I, I see it. You guys are purchasing from the bookshop. So I see it on the, through our, um, through my blogs. Uh, Thank you so much. And also here, you, you go in the description and I see you guys really getting yourself knowledgeable. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you because not only you're helping these communities as well, these uh, local libraries, uh, local, um, library, local stores, local uh, bookstores, but you're also helping yourself. You're getting more knowledgeable about yourself. So keep doing that, okay? Another book that I'm gonna recommend you as well that has been helping me, where is it? Wait, let me get it, one second. It's really good, okay? Original instruction, indigenous teaching for a sustainable future. I'm like halfway, but every day, like, I don't know, every time I read it, it's like there's so many stories, so many things that are really, uh, it's about what's going on right now, how to be, you know, more conscious, more about sustainability. Also, when you look at the bookshop, I added, I always add books there about sustainability, climate change, and stuff like that. So you can also look for books there, but keep yourself knowledgeable, keep yourself, uh, um, under, you know, understand the situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, another thing that I'm hearing, yeah. Sustainability is an achievable path, okay? It is, it has always been, okay? We just have to also, you know, yes, that those in power are shit and we need to put all the pressure. So but basically how you put the pressure, you also can do this in an economical sense. For example, you choosing not to purchase certain products that you know are not good for the environment. That's you taking a stand. That's you putting it out there that you're not doing that. The, those who decided, okay, uh, put it in pressure to the supermarkets and stuff like that, you, like as a community, say, you know what, stop putting plastic and stuff like that, wrapping our bananas and stuff like that, like what the hell? Or some of you who decide not to have the plastic bag and bring your own uh, sustainable bag. That's actually you taking individually and collectively your own stand on this, okay? Those who choose to listen, you say, you know what, I'm gonna sacrifice for uh, maybe a year or so, not eat meat or, or chicken or anything like that it's for, you know, for the fact that you wanna help humanity and the planet, that is beautiful. Those who are doing that, it's a huge and amazing sacrifice because you should be doing this. At least at this point where we're trying to reduce CO2 emission, once we get to the point that we're okay, that we are lower, like if you see this breaking boundary, how they show you that if we reduce for a certain amount, especially right now, that we need to keep the ice ma not melting from the uh, north into the Antarctica, that's actually a huge, amazing sacrifice. Hey, all of us have to do sacrifices somehow, somewhere here. Hey, Jesus did it, did it for us. That's why I talk about that in my podcast, that from the, 30 to, from the 32 to the... Um, from the 28th to the 3rd 32 and that podcast that talks about that I talk about literally climate change is in the Bible all that is happening right now is in the Bible God is not God created us God created all this planet created everything these people who are in power who think are godlike and stuff like that no but we are here as earth warrior to keep this balance, to keep this stable, and we need to voice this out. Equity is achievable. Circular economy is achievable, and it has to be achievable. We are in a tipping point. That's what the IPCC report is. If you're able to read it, if you're able to see it, you're able to see how in each detail, how we can work together individually in our own way but also collectively uh partnering with other co co communities other other um sustainable communities helping indigenous communities helping you know the legislation to bring the land back to indigenous communities so we can start learning their 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 knowledge and their education so they can have that voice a priority that they need to have we need them 
we always have. Dearly, they, they are the gifts from God to help us, to help Gaia, to help our planet, to help ourselves, to be more conscious. Those who are against indigenous people, those who are for and, and literally uh, buying bonds with, with uh, corporations and fossil fuels and literally those, uh, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know how these people live with themselves, how they sleep with themselves. Those police people who are uh, getting paid by corporations and stuff like that uh, to do harm to indigenous community, to literally uh, dramatize and traumatize these people when they're literally trying to help us keep our waters clean, keep our air clean, keep our nature, like it's crazy. It's literally like Avatar. I'm seeing like Avatar, that whole story with the caught in the trees and the, it's, and it's so funny that these people make movies like that to make us conscious about it, but they're the one who are the evil motherfuckers doing all this fucking shit. That's another thing that I said to, I was asking myself and I asked my, my people and my students, do you think that COVID-19 could have been preventable? Could have been. Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear your opinion. Do you think it could have been preventable? Do you think that climate change can be preventable? We know it is, we know it can't. We know that all of this could have been prevented, but again, this greedy and toxic, these billionaires that literally and their corporation are emitting more carbon emission than anybody on this planet. And we're still looking at it like, oh no, but you know, no, no. We need to put pressure. We need to call them out. We need to make sure that they're paying their taxes, right? That there's a climate tax for their shit. That, that, that climate tax is literally put in subsidies to reduce having cars with uh, the fossil fuels, made using gasoline. We need to change all of that. It has to be net zero. And yes, it's gonna be a drastic change. But this also could have been preventable as well. If they started from like, I don't know, yesterday, like a couple years ago, when we've been trying to say this for, I don't know how many years now. Now what they say in the breaking boundaries, they talk about the seven years that we could actually achieve this, that, that we can, you know, but now it's like, if the IPCC report that it was released, by the time this is there, here, this is put there, it's now it's five, probably three to five years, right? It's been reduced because we are not doing the work. And it's not just us, right? But also it's that too. It's like when we're not choosing to change our lifestyle, yes, you have to sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. We all do. Everybody does, okay? I don't care what anybody has to say. We all have to do this. We all have to stop eating meat. We all have to stop buying fucking plastic stuff. We all have to, yes. But also we have to put that pressure on these companies and corporations to give the right uh, incentive. You know, those people who have these big houses with huge lawns, like what the fuck do you need these fucking lawns for? Those lawns literally can be used to create agriculture uh, ways for local communities so they can eat, you know, healthier food. There's so many ways and solutions that we are, I've been talking and voicing it out. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm so tired of talking about this. Indigenous people, we're tired of talking about this. It's like talking to a wall and nobody fucking listens. You want more knowledge about this? I've been writing blogs nonstop for the past five years on Writers Yet blog. Go for it, enlighten yourself. There's other communities, there's other uh, activists as well. I always put those activists as well on those blogs as well. Go check them out. Any climate change or sustainability blog that you wanna know, there are activists there that I put that you can learn about. You can follow them on social media. They're nonstop working. Working without this. Because they, they don't, we don't give a fuck. We give a fuck about people, about humanity, about our planet, about our lives being here about our children and the next generation that is coming, that is already here. That's what we give a shit. That's what you, 
those who are complaining and and saying like oh you don't know it's a oh no it's a it's a it's not our business or stuff like that and you're you're there buying a bunch of stuff that you don't fucking need using your money for bullshit you're part of the fucking problem you're living off the future generation because you're greedy and fucking selfish you don't give a fuck right you see that's what we're not the same we're not in that in that we're not in alignment i don't give a shit about you and your fucking uh prada your gucci your motherfucking shit i don't give a fuck about that these brands they know they need to work on they have work to do and not doing the work it jeopardize all of us so that's why each day if you can put it out there Use your community, your blogs, your whatever you can to talk about this, to put pressure. Sign petitions, whatever we put petitions. Greenpeace is a huge community that is doing the work. Go support Greenpeace. Support indigenous community who are literally in the front line. Those who are in the line three to stop line fucking three. I always put in, if you go on my uh, writersyap.com uh, and uh, give back, there is a community center that you can help. Support these communities. We need to support each other. This is part of that circular economy and equity that I've been talking about nonstop. It's not just me. I know there's other people doing it. But that is my calling. Whether people like it or not, I don't give a shit. I've been literally cursed and hexed because of doing and speaking about this. I know you're fucking watching me, you fucking billionaire. Go fuck yourself. I know what you're doing. God has shown me exactly what you've been doing. Because of money, right? No, it's my money. I work for it. Are you kidding me? By the blood and tears of other people? Harassing? The government too, you little piece of shit? You're still fucking funding fossil fuels? You're disgusting. And then going to indigenous lands and trying to jeopardize their, their work, their families and stuff like that, trying to take away their kids so that they can stop talking about that, that we need to stop fossil fuels? You're killing us here. Oh, I don't care, it's money, right? That too, that, not, that is something that I'm so grateful for one of the, the students at my work that said this and I was like, wow, they're right. He said, why are we waiting for 2030? Why, why can we start doing this now? That is a beautiful question. And that would, that's the pressure that we should put out there. Why can we start now? Why can we reduce and start renewable energy now? Why do we have to wait to 2030? That's something that I saw in the PCC report. And that's something that I saw that I, they talk about colonialism or something like that. And it's crazy because they never talk about this but that's something that's like this is why decolonization needs to happen it's like they are aware that this is a colonized mindset they are aware that this like okay we'll, we'll we'll do it someday we're gonna we're gonna start someday see they're trying to block my my throat no i don't give a fuck i'm gonna say what it needs to be said and yes most of us reach their life to talk about this and do this okay yeah a lot of environmentalists we risk our lives for doing this, for you to get going, wake up, don't stay thinking, don't be ignorant. Do what you gotta do individually and collectively. We all have a work and job to do about climate change impacts, or we're not gonna have a livable planet. Is that what you want? Then you're in the wrong channel because I'm here to literally wake the fuck up, all of y'all. We cannot continue this lifestyle. This materialistic and egocentric lifestyle. We need to be literally minimalist. And yes, you have to make sacrifices. Yes. Yes, you're going to be working hard. Yes, you're going to probably try to see if you can build a little something to create your own fruits and your own food and stuff like that. Because it's what it is. We have to put pressure on this. We have to literally have an environmentalist, scientist, all indigenous community working together, unifying, okay? And build this from the fucking ground. 
And yes, we need, we're gonna take the money from these motherfuckers. We have to, they know this. Either through tax, taxing them, and helping and taking that and building equity and circular economy. It needs to happen. And it's going to happen. Do you understand me? It's going to happen. Those who are pressuring other people because they, they, they have bonds and shares and fossil fuels and they don't want to lose your money, go fuck yourself. Get, start taking out your fucking money and give it into renewable energy. When you die, you can't take that money. We can't eat money. We can't breathe money. And we can't heal ourselves with money. I'm just being fucking straight up with you. That mentality is a demonic entity inside of you. Pride, greed, and ego, having a fucking ego and thinking that you're better than everybody else and thinking that, that whatever is happening in the world is not, no, that is a fucking demon. Get that shit out. Take it out. Because I'm telling you, people who think about others, about their planet, we are not, we don't have this. We don't have this materialistic thing. We don't care about money. We don't give a shit. We care about stability, but having a balanced life and being there for other, being there for service. That's what we're not, the, we're, not the, we're not the same. That's why it's a toxic mentality to think that us doing something for the planet and for others is like too, it's something like a bogus. Like it's not, no, that's what you're here for. We're here, we're meant to be earth warrior, conscious warriors. We're not here to jeopardize our, our forests. We're not here to take advantage uh, and, and be greedy and hoarders and, and doing all these horrible things. That's toxic mindset. It's not good. Okay? So right now I'm trying to say, encourage a lot of you, the IPCC report is not for you to feel doomsday or, or to feel like, ah, you know, and if you want some encouragement, go listen to my podcast from the 29 to the 32. That's really what was Holy Spirit, God guiding me and Jesus literally, because it's going to happen. There's going to be a huge shift. And it's already it's happening. It already happened in the spiritual realm. Remember, the spiritual realm, whatever happens in the spiritual realm manifests in the 3D. It already happens. And that's what we're, all these prophetic people, all the psychic medium, all the clamorous, client senses, that's your job to help you understand that whatever happens in the spiritual or whatever battles that we've been battling like for centuries, okay? Because this is not our first rodeo in this lifetime, okay? It's been many lifetimes that we've been here is going to manifest here but you have to have faith you have to trust you have to believe okay because nothing can manifest and, and 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 happen if you're not believing if you're not trusting trust yourself and believe in yourself whenever you're doing like you know you're creating like a compost or or reducing plastic for yourself and stuff like that and then you encourage other people to do it you already are doing it in a micro micro level you are doing it okay so don't think, discourage yourself. And then that too, it's like, if you see other people not doing the work, not doing, that's not your, that's not your business. But yes, you make sure that you're planting a little seed. It's like, by the way, you know, it's okay to sacrifice for a couple of days, a couple of months, a couple of years. Do not do this stuff. Do not purchase this type of stuff because it's not good for the environment. It's not healthy. Because when you do that, not only you're helping yourself, you're helping your lineage, but you're helping the collective. You're helping the planet. Like Gaia is screaming at us, help me to help you. You want to get out of COVID-19? Help me, right? You want to stop not wearing your mask? Help me, right? It's a reciprocity. It's not just one-sided situation. It's not just taking, taking, and taking because that's what we're doing when we're only focused on money. That's it, right? It's reciprocity. I see the six of pentacles. Reciprocity. It's not just one single size situation. It happens with everything, with jobs, with a relationship, with um, with uh, building something. Like it's all about its change. It's not just one sided thing and taking, taking, taking. That is what we call vampire energy leeches. And we are not that. We're better than that.
right? And thinking that whatever these billion corporations are doing, that it's okay for them to do, that keeps you trapped. That keeps you bound to the devil. We need to call them out. Instead of calling out people who are speaking up, who are telling the truth, also those people who are talking about, you know, speaking up about oppression, uh, voicing out about, you know, all this situation that's happening right now with, uh, yeah, they're saying that <laughs> all these uh, government politicians, people talking about like, you know, the racism and stuff like that, that it's like they benefit from it. They benefit from oppressive, oppressive system, from being racist, from being white supremacist, and they're still trying to build this into our psyche. They're still trying to continue this, but that's the generational curse that we also have to break. That's our job. That's part of that. Building that circle on economy and equity is literally breaking that generational curse. That white supremacist knowledge education. That's what they're afraid for us to change education, to shift that because they benefit from it and it's enough because not everyone is free if nobody's free we're not free nobody is and that includes biopoc we have to that's our focus now to create education that includes biopoc their knowledge and their history of dealing with white supremacy and racist people and also the incarceration, the police uh, abuse. We've seen this nonstop. It's literally being revealed to us. God reveals to redeem. These are demonic entities. Those are who are pre oppressioning transgender, who are doing this is demonic entities as well. Those who are against, uh, you know, I'm seeing like the, the dreadlocks or uh, black women having dreadlocks or something like that, like trying to be in spaces and places and work and stuff like that. That is a demonic entity. That is us breaking the curse and say, no, we're breaking that tradition. They can have, they can be who they want to be. Pay attention. All of these are being revealed to you and key to talk about it and say, fuck you. We're going to do the right thing. Do you get it? Be those, that voice, be that change that you want to see in the world. It's not right that we're jeopardizing literally women or affecting women because of their of their of their hair or because of their sexual the, the transgender like what the hell that is so weird. Again, it's a control uh it's a control tactic, right? To keep people the, those in power to keep them bound. Yeah, it's a it's a demonic tactic that we need to literally eradicate. That's what we keep saying the colonization is important. And it needs to be an education and spirituality in every sense of the word. It needs to be important. Literally all these history books, all this education. Yeah, it's going to take time, but it needs to be done. I've been saying that in my podcast as well. Why supremacy, capitalism is a toxic disease. I'm not saying that, you know, white people were that. No, it's not a culture. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not a culture. You take from other people's culture. That is a colonized mindset. That's what we're saying with the colonized. We're not here to compare and judge you, okay? Because I'm telling you, there's white people who are who are with us, who are know what's up. But you've still stuck in that mindset. You're thinking that y'all, your righteousness, your right and your righteousness and your blah blah blah, and thinking that um, having actually an education that literally voices this stuff out and and put you know what the truth out there what literally BIPOC has been dealing for many centuries because of your ignorance it's enough of that we're done with that we're done with that okay let me see what holy spirit wants to let you guys know but this is definitely something like real talk like Yeah, a lot of us need to use our gifts and talents for good, for voicing out what it needs to be said. Yeah, you have the Pages of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Pages of Cups is literally going back into 
our childhood, going back into, you know, listen to our intuition. What used to light us up? You know, what, uh, what makes us, um, think of what things that we love that makes us joyful, that makes us, you know, and then use that also as a way to be an activist. We all need to be climate activists right now. We all do. We all be to be focused on sustainability. We all need to do. The IPCC report, it's not to freak you out, it's to wake the wake you up. Okay? And wake this motherfuckers up. And then us taking our stand and putting pressure where it needs to be put the pressure. Because all of the shit that we're dealing with now could have been preventable if it wasn't for their fucking greedy shit, for their mentality not switching from from linear to circular, right? Helping us build a sustainable lifestyle, having sustainable education, right? This, the Ace of Cups, is literally a gift from God. A lot of you are literally gifts from God. Your talents and your gifts are gifts from God. Okay, this message, and it's coming from my heart, from my, from the love that I always been having for my planet and for my people and for my, for sustainability and from having a better future, for not having an oppressive and capitalist and motherfucking toxic system. We're done with that. God is done with that. And you need to be knowledgeable about this, that this is a toxic system. This is demonic, satanic. The world, this system, is the devil's realm. And he plays with our minds. Because if we're not mentally strong, and we're not spiritually strong, he fucks with our minds. He makes us do stuff that we don't want to do. Makes us materialistic, makes us greedy, makes us have this huge ass ego. King of Swords. This is our masculine energy, working on on being truthful, clarity. Listen to our guys. Look at how this guy is. Like, look, listening to his ancestors, right? Having his swords by his side, not letting go of his sword. You need to be warriors, not only in the sternal, but also spiritually in your dreams. We're not telling you this just to, you know, just as bogus or uh, wishful thinking. This is for real. Focus on that stability. See, Nine of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. See? Ace of, Ace, of, Ace of Swords. Focus on your passion. This is your divine divine feminines within yourselves. Queen of Wands, work in your creativity, your passion, what you're good at. Right? Nine of Pentacles. It's okay to be celibate. It's okay to be self-made. It's okay to build something out of the norm. Get out of the outside box. Plant your seeds. You can also be an activist while you also build your life, while you also a student, while you also working different jobs. You can be an activist as well. Walk, walk, walk away from what no longer serves you. This is the Six of Swords, going from turbulent waters to calmer waters. Listen to your spirit, guys. They're letting you guys know what you need to do. But you got to listen. You got to pay attention. Make sure you're doing your meditations. Your prayers, you know? Because truth and clarity is being revealed to you for many centuries now. This is the Holy Spirit letting me know that I'm speaking the truth here. It's the truth. That's what we're focusing on right now. Truth, clarity, and justice. Justice. Okay? By using our gifts and our talents, being creative. You know? Also, building equity, equity and stability and, and sustainability for not just for uh, individually, but collectively for the whole world. And it's a possibility. And we need to believe this by letting go of toxic things, negative people, things that no longer serve us, us, our planet, and, and anybody. And voicing this out, speaking the truth, even if other people are uncomfortable. You are getting literally downloads and knowledge about this situation you see the world card in reverse a lot of sneaky energy there's a cycle that needs to end here that is not finished or somebody doesn't want us to finish this cycle because it doesn't benefit them right but we're not this anymore we don't give a fuck about this because we can't eat this and breathe this it cannot it just can't see 
is done. All this sneaky and doing stuff behind their back and working against us or doing all this stuff is done. Like it's over. Having this materialistic lifestyle, having this toxic femininity lifestyle, gold digging, taking advantage of other people, using other people for your own advantage, right? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? All the secrets are being revealed. It's a mindset. It's a curse. It's a generational curse that has been put, right? And we need to break that by voicing it out, by building equity and circular economy together, building higher consciousness together. All these secrets, it's being revealed to you for a reason, to wake the hell up. You're not helpless. Look, look at this person. This person doesn't see that they have the key and they have still whatever that you got already, use it. Whatever you have is good enough and be grateful. Because some of us don't have the five of pentacles. Some of us have wasn't be able to work from home, right? During these times. A lot of us had to work multiple jobs. You know? That too, there's that mentality like back, back to work and back to normal. Normal to what? None of that shit was normal. That's what it was. All of this shit it was revealed to you so you understand that it was not normal what we were living. And where they're still trying to continue that lifestyle because it doesn't, it benefits them. Fuck that shit. It has to benefit everyone. Every 7.5 something million of people, it has to benefit everyone. This has to be like this. That's what we're working on. We're leaving that mentality, that uh, scarcity mindset, that thinking that we're not good enough, believing what other people project, all their projections and stuff like that. Like, you're not hopeless. Look, the key is right there. You just have to see from a higher perspective. Yes, the secrets are revealed to you, but it's for your own good, for your highest good, for you to move into there, get off your back, uh, be lazy and stagnant and procrastination and, and thinking that, you know, you and taking that key and opening that door. A lot of you have literally that door, that blessing open. Like literally all you have to do is take this key. God is asking you to take this key and go through this door. Don't be afraid. Fear is not of God. Doubts and security is not of it. And you're capable. You're good enough. Let go of this anxiety and depression that it's, it's condition. You are capable of taking your ass and taking that key and opening that door. And if you have to go through this alone, then go for it alone. Most of us are. But I'm telling you, it's not going to be for long. And you're not alone. You have angels and ancestors with you. All of us do. And you have God too. When you connect to him, you talk to him, and you pray to him, I'm telling you, you're not going to go through this door alone. Please, you are needed here, all of you. Each of us have a calling, something that we're meant to be doing here. And I hope this is helpful for you. Focus on you and your love. You are love. You're meant to be helping our, our planet too by you healing and helping yourself and helping others, okay? And like I always say, and all and everything. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your planet and to others, okay? I love you guys. I hope this IPCC report doesn't really scare you. It just It's just for us to wake the fuck up, okay? And also that we need to put pressure where it needs to be put pressure, okay? Because change needs to happen. And it starts within us, okay? I'm sending you love, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye.